Hey guys and um, welcome to Vegan Beauty Girl. In today's video we are going to be doing a bit of a mega vegan beauty haul. I have received a lot of beauty products this month either from like PR packages, stuff I've bought or stuff that I've been doing ads with. So I thought it would be quite cool to put them all together in a bit of a haul video slash what's new in vegan beauty because a lot of these things are actually new launches as well. So I thought it'd be fun to go through all these together. But yeah, we've got makeup, skincare, hair care, a lot of different things. So this should be really fun. So I've not ranked all the beauty products I've got, but I definitely have a favourite and that is Emelyn. It's basically a vegan, cruelty-free lipstick nail polish company. It's also a black owned business. The founder is Ugandan born, uh, Denmark raised and lives in London. First of all, I was drawn in because I love a lipstick. It is definitely my favourite beauty product. And then when I started looking deeper into the brand, I was really impressed with their range of colours and the range of swatches as well. They focus on like nudes and reds. I've got 15 shades of nudes, 15 shades of reds and the idea is that they have enough shades to suit every skin tone so they do lipsticks nail varnishes and lip liners as well and the idea is that whatever shade you want you can get it in all three that way you can get a flawless match with your lipstick and your nail varnish i was a bit excited to receive these but what i did not expect was how bougie the products look they come in this like canister when you open that up you've got these beautiful cardboard boxes which the products come in and then the products themselves are absolutely stunning and i absolutely love the way they open these feel so bougie so nice i was literally just the other day I was talking about wanting a swap for Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and I am in love with these. I've literally found my swap already. So the shade which I have on here is Marrakesh and I've got it in the lipstick, I've got it in the nail varnish and I also have it in the lip liner. I absolutely love this shade. This is like one of my favourite shades. This is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury shade I was trying to swap and not only do I have a lipstick and a lip liner, I also have nail polish to match. I am so impressed with this. This has come at completely the right time for me. I am over the moon. This was actually the nude colour I selected. I don't really like nudes. This is kind of like an everyday shade I would wear. So that is the nude I chose and they had nudes which would have looked way more nude on me. I just didn't want to go for them. So I'll swatch that on my hand for you guys. There we go. So that's the shade Marrakesh. I also went for a red shade. I went for Alexandria and this one again has really gorgeous packaging. Here I'll show you the red. This one is a little bit more pinker than I thought it would be, but I do really like it. I was wearing this earlier and it looked really nice, really stunning. I'm very happy to have a really nice red. And again, this one I also got the matching set for. I would also just like to say that they are really thick, creamy, lovely to apply, semi-matte, a little bit, a little bit drying. And when I was wearing it yesterday and I was out on my walk, my lips did feel a little bit drier, but if that is an issue, you can always put a lip balm on underneath and they will work fine. But really, this is one of the best lipsticks I've ever used. They are my my new go-to luxury lipstick and I'm just so happy to have discovered this brand. Price-wise, the lipsticks are £21 and if you want the complete set, you can get bundles which are £40. So that includes the lip liner, the lipstick and the nail varnish too. I must say the quality of all of them is incredible. Like with the nail varnishes, I was even tempted to just do one coat. They were really thick, really easy to use, really easy to apply. This brand is just really luxurious and really gorgeous and I'm really impressed that like the packaging hits, the formulas hit, the shades hit. It's just like everything everything is perfect. Can't recommend this brand highly enough and I'm sure you guys will see a lot more of them on my channels going forward because I am in love. Next I have this e.l.f. Holy Hydration set. This costs I believe £20 for this size set. It's more of a like discovery slash travel set and I must say I've never really given much thought to e.l.f. skincare and when they sent this across last week as a PR gift I didn't really think much of it. I wasn't really that thrilled to try it out so it was only in prep for this video that I decided to trial some of the products. So I've tried the cleansing balm, the face cream and also the eye cream. I was really impressed. These feel so lovely and gentle on the skin. I've really only used these like once or twice so I don't really know what long term effect is on my skin but they aren't fragrant which is wonderful. The cleansing balm was really quick to melt on my skin which is really nice and really hard to find in the winter weather. I often find in the colder months I really struggle finding cleansing balms that melt into my skin and this one did really well. The moisturizer as well really quick to sink in but it felt like it was really really moisturizing. It would have been too heavy for me to use in the summer. I don't need that much of a heavy moisturizer but for the winter it is really really incredible and the eye cream as well was just really nice thick easy to absorb i really rate this and i wouldn't be surprised if i ended up like repurchasing any of these products to actually become part of my regular skincare routine because i was just really impressed but again i have only just started using these i don't know long term how they suit my skin i've been sent a lot of skincare recently so it's been hard to really test anything out fully and i'm always a bit cautious about trying out new skincare products anyway also on skincare i want to talk about glossy box glossy box have launched their own skincare range and everything is vegan it's cruelty free i must say i really really love the packaging i got 
thoughts on these products for an ad campaign. I have been really quite impressed with these. There are some which I've been using pretty much every day. So that includes this Glossy Box Gentle Foaming Cleanser. And I'm particularly keen on this one because it is fragrance free. So it's super good for super sensitive skin. And I like to use a foaming cleanser like normally once a day. This one works really well. I just like that it's gentle and fragrance free. So I knew my skin would love it. I've also really been enjoying their hydrating mist. First of all, because sometimes you get a mist and they like spurt at you and it's kind of intimidating and scary. Whereas this one is just very misty. Mm. I love the feel of that. It feels really, really gorgeous. I kind of keep it by the side of my bed. I often miss it just before I put on makeup or sometimes in the mornings when I can't really be bothered to go wash my face, but my face feels like it needs a little like something. Other products which I have of theirs include the 3-in-1 moisturizer. I think this one would be particularly good for anyone with super oily skin who wants a kind of like matte finish before they start putting on their makeup. I actually like my skin to feel a bit more hydrated before I put on makeup rather than matte, so I don't love this so much for my skin type. I think it would suit my skin a lot better in the summer. So I'll probably kind of keep this under wraps until then. And then we have the night serum. I haven't really been using this every night just because I don't want to switch too much too soon. If you swatch all your products at once and your skin starts reacting badly to it, it's really hard to know what it is that's caused a breakout. But all in all, I've been really impressed with the Glossy Box range. Finally, the skincare, I want to talk about this Q&A Apple AHA. This is a product I bought myself. I don't know if you guys have seen my video reviewing the Body Shop Drops of Youth Liquid Peel. It's quite an odd video now, but basically I'm just not the biggest fan of the Body Shop. If you guys guys want to know why I could do a separate video on that because I know I haven't really gone that in depth on why I don't really shop there. One reason is I find their products very overpriced and often kind of gimmicky as well and this product definitely fits that. My skin absolutely loves this. It's so good for like removing dead skin and really brightening up my face and I've been looking for a replacement for this for quite a while and I think I found one with this Q&A Apple AHA exfoliating gel. So whilst I use some products with AHAs in them in my regular skincare routine, I always found that this did a really good job of instantly brightening my face so I'd use it when I noticed my face started looking dull like I had like maybe a bit too much dead skin on my face and it would do a wonderful job of clearing that up and this does exactly the same thing at a fraction of the price and I just really love the ethics of Q&A they're quite a new skincare brand they are cruelty free they are mostly vegan they currently only have one product that's not vegan but yeah they do label their vegan products anyway and one of my favorite things about these is that when you're out shopping on the cardboard box they will have this little checklist that will let you know whether or not it is suitable for your skin type and also what sort of benefits this product will bring you. So I find it a very like gorgeous, no nonsense sort of skincare brand. But like I said, I find this one just really good for clearing up my skin in one use. And I can see myself repurchasing this once it is done as well. I lied, I do have one more skincare product. I don't want to talk too much about this because it is an exclusive Lush product. Lush have basically recently launched a second subscription box called Fresh and Flowers. You can see my review of it here. In that box came this avocado ice cream face mask. I'd really love this to be rolled out as a permanent product across all stores. It's got a beautiful texture to it. It kind of feels like hummus and you keep it in the fridge so that it's nice and cool on your skin. It's got like soy yogurt, softening avocado, brightening lemon juice. Yeah, I would love to see this roll out everywhere and I've been really impressed with it and really enjoyed it. And so is my housemate as well. So that's two people loving it. Okay, I have some hair care to show you guys. I got sent some stuff from Maria Nila. They are a salon quality hair care brand. They sent me across their pure volume mask. I absolutely love this hair mask. I've been through a tub of this before. It's really nice and thick, really moisturizing, doesn't weigh your hair down at all after you've used it. I just am a, ooh, I just am a very big fan of this. Really do recommend Maria Nila if your hair is in need of like the extra premium TLC if you are needing like salon quality to look after your hair. They also sent across some argan oil for me to try. I straightened my hair yesterday and then I used this afterwards to keep it a little bit like smoother and sleeker and I feel like it's done a really good job. I really do love using hair oils on my hair. I think hair oils keep my hair healthy, keep frizz away. I just think there are so many great things that come from using hair oils. They also sent across these hand washes. So I've got a hand wash here and a hand lotion here. They say bouquet on them, but I find they kind of smell a bit cucumbery rather than like super florally. They smell very fresh. I really like the smell. I just, I'm very confused as to why they're called bouquet. But yeah, we're enjoying them. Finally, I have some new hair masks from Faith in Nature. I've actually just run out of conditioner. I have a crazy amount of hair masks. So I'm just using hair masks in the shower at the moment rather than conditioner. First up, we have this coconut and shea hair mask. This is what I have been using in the shower lately and it is really, really thick, really lovely. This is vegan made in the UK, recyclable, recycled, and cruelty free as well. I also have their dragon fruit one, which I have not tried yet. It looks just as thick, just as lovely. It smells lovely too. 
they have actually launched four different flavors of their hair masks. So the different flavors include coconut and shea, which is to hydrate and nourish hair. I have a shea and argan one, which is perfect for nourishing normal to dry hair and is their best one for curly or afro hair. They have their dragon fruit one, which is great for all hair types to add volume. And then there's also the rose and chamomile one, which is great for restoring normal to dry hair. So I think maybe the dragon fruit one will be my favorite. So maybe I'll switch what I'm using in the shower right now to this one and see if I love that a bit more. Oh, and I've also been sent across a kit from Dare Beauty, which is a London-based vegan salon that specializes in like waxing and brows and lash lifts, like that sort of stuff. They sent me a kit, which was a bit of a like at-home pamper and as well as teach me good habits for hair removal to avoid ingrown hairs. I'll leave a code down below to give you a discount on this kit. My favorite part is that they give you a step-by-step -step guide and this is great, like whatever hair removal method you're doing, whether or not you wax or shave or use hair removal cream, like whichever you use, this kit is great for it. And there is also an ingrown hair serum included in this, which I'm really excited to use because lately I've just not really been doing any routine other than picking up the razor when it comes to hair removal. So I'm really excited to kind of treat my skin a little bit better because I do not enjoy ingrown hairs, no one does. So I'm really excited to establish a sort of routine when I'm shaving and hopefully have clearer skin from it. Okay, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have discovered a lot of new fun brands. I know I definitely have discovered quite a few new things this month and it's been really exciting. I am just so in love with this lipstick. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit like. If you're new around here, please do subscribe. You can find me online as Vegan Beauty Girl pretty much anywhere. TikTok, Instagram. I've got Patreon as well if you guys fancy supporting me. I have tiers as low as £2 a month, so that's less than a price of coffee. So if you want to support me, that'd be wonderful. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and until next time, bye.